Hey, what's going on, guys? We're going to today. We have the final wrap up for Into the Light, but not the final stream. Just letting you guys know, we're going to have a lot of uploads this week, like we did these last couple of weeks. So make sure you hit the notification button, subscribe, and hit the like on your way out, out of this video and leave a comment about what you think. But first off, let's get into the information. We're zero hour, and the whisper is coming back. And we're very excited about it. You can guys see some gameplay on screen. As the gameplay scrolls by, I will give you guys the information that I have. So. We're also getting a craftable version of Whisper and Outbreak with the associated mission. For now, you know how you guys, if you guys play it during the older days than Zero, it's not Zero Hour, I'm getting confused. When Whisper finally came out, you know for you to start the mission, you had to wait for a certain public event to come out and people first found out about it. People was waiting. It was everybody waiting on IO for hours and hours and hours for this to finally pop up. And now they say, hey, I'm just going to go over there, talk to Eris. Eris is going to give you a mission. You go in, complete the mission. So that's really good. On normal difficulty, normal version you can see in the over here it'll be 40 minutes so the normal version of the of the mission zero hour and the whisper included will be 40 minutes long but the legend difficulty will be back to the classic 20 minutes so so then you guys know that future if you guys like this is gonna be way too easy i'm letting you know um the whisper will be coming sometime in april and zero hour will be coming sometime in may i will give you some after when i get to the section about zero hour i'll show you zero hour gameplay all the chests and other secrets have been moved around so it seems fresh to newer players players who have played it before and newer players who haven't played it since it's really good they also said that they changed both boss fights around now moving on to zero hour we're back in the yellow tower like before continuing this zero hour has been changed including the boss fight and it's also coming in may trevor stands for the tracking robotic three vector reducer is what the devs called it but they had it like a Community vote at the last Guardian Gone a couple years ago, and they changed it to something else that I did not bother writing down. They did say that the Whisper and Zero Hour ships are coming back, so I love that ship. The, I love the Whisper ship. I still use the ship in my Titan to this day, mostly because I love Taken King. For Whisper of the Worm, the perks you can get in the third column are mulligan like usual, field prep, no distractions, and a light in action. So honestly, I think I might go with field prep for even more freaking ammo. Yeah, increased ammo reserves, faster reload speed when crouching. So I'm probably, for me specifically, I'm going to roll with field prep. So I could have even more ammo on the reserves, but then fast forward closer to the Trevor mission. You guys can see Trevor for the first time. They said they wanted to make Trevor a lot more scary in this rendition. So the bright red light on his screen is really bright. So you can see like the cash shadow is getting close to you. They said, hey, we're going to, we're not going to, we're not going to work around the movement abilities because they know sword skating, eager skating, freaking shatter skating is all in the game. So they don't want to like, completely like outdo that and make it so it's like not useful so they worked around it so it's still gonna be very viable still gonna be very useful when it comes to i'm sorry for that happening it's gonna be very useful when it comes to the situation this is some trevor trevor uh constant cover by the way so it's gonna be very useful when it comes to those jump puzzles especially the one on the outside of the wall of the tower so that's really cool for how big perfected it can roll outlaw rapid hit rewind rounds and head sneaker i'm assuming all the pvp gamers are gonna want head sneaker on this thing it's gonna be really good for pve it's in between rapid hit and rewind rounds depending on the one of them stability is also really good but you can you can't go wrong when continuously shooting with it's outbreak is already used for constantly shooting so why not rewind rounds I know some people have been wanting rapid hits, so that's really good too, but I'm probably gonna go um, re rewind rounds, maybe head seeker for PvP, but we'll see. After that, they then gave us a look at the new PvP maps coming May 7th, and I can't wait. Let's get right into it. This is uh, Eventide Labs. Looks really nice. They did say that all these maps are kind of sort of focused on 3v3 competitive play, so I'm looking forward to seeing them in trials. This is one that's based on Europa, as you can see, and I'm, it looks incredibly good. Like, all these maps look amazing. My favorite one, I'm in between the second and the third one. This one's really cool. I just love I just love the look of Europa. Like, the next-gen feeling of it, it looks really cool. So, we're going to put this on, like, two times speed. So, it looks really cool. <clears throat> I can't remember exactly what the map was, but it reminds me of this that one old Fallen map we had in D2 before it got vaulted. It looks really cool. The close, they've got some long sight lines that you got to look over to control B point. It looks really cool. I'm interested in I'm interested in what how the heavy spawns are gonna work because they say there are some special special boxes on this map depending on the game modes where you got to go pick up special. Overall, it looks really cool. I'm very interested in it and I want to see more. But you can, like I said, you can only see you can only see how good a map is so much from seeing it. You gotta gotta get in there and get in the nitty gritty and play. So I'm, I'm, this looks maybe like a 120 hand cannon, maybe a scout map, maybe a long arm, 
or the one the new one from Trials. It looks really it looks really good. I don't even think SMG. Eh, I don't know. It looks really cool. I'm gonna let you guys get a little more of a a better look of the map before I go to the next one. Like I said, look at look at the, the snow just looks so nice, and the ice just looks beautiful. Now moving on to the next one. This one takes place on Neo Moon and it's called Cirrus. Let's see, Cirrus? Cirrus, yeah, Cirrus, Sir. I can't remember what the freak how to pronounce. Cirrus Labs. It takes place on Neo Moon. Uh, it looks really nice. I love the pat. I think you can call it pastel or matte color. I just love the color color palette of Neo Moon. Looks really nice. The like the purples, the blues, the pastel reds. This maps look really good. This is gonna be definitely 100% be a CQC map. I'm talking hand cannons, SMGs, shotties, like stuff that you gotta really be up close. Sidearms, because like there's just so many corridors. You're definitely gonna be battling for a fight in the middle on B point. B point is the middle area right here. I'll pause right here, right there in the middle. This is B point. But what I'm saying is, uh, it looks really readable. You can definitely tell where you gotta go, what you gotta do. You can play these corners. Everything's real CQC. Um. It definitely looks like a very like a normal three lane map. Like this would that's, this would be hilarious on mayhem. Like this is 100 percent a three v three map. Six v six could be pretty hectic on this. I'm interested in what how people play. I feel like this could be real useful. This map and the next map is gonna be incredible for freaking uh heat rising warlocks. So yeah, let's move to the next one. I'm a, I'm I'm a, I can't wait to play these maps on May in May. I just can't wait. Can't wait, can't wait. They did say that there are gonna have a playlist specific just to these maps. So when they come out, they'll be fun. It'll be it'll be skirmish based game modes. So 3v3. Can't wait to play. Moving on to the next one. This one is called Dissonance. Takes place on the pyramid ship. Now this one looks beautiful. If you love the Ron, you're gonna love the way this maps look. It little look at this thing. Look at it. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Like, like I, I, oh my god. Oh, they did this thing. I just hope this played well because the last time we had a pyramid, the darkness themed map, we got this junction, and that map was terrible. <laughs> but this seems a little bit cool. It has some longer sight lines. You can see definitely see some long, like skinny sight lines where you could sit in the back of the map and definitely lane with a scout rifle with box breathing and no distractions, if that's how you want to play. But they definitely have some opportunity for elevation to get the higher up spot, like right here. It's fine, but I know heavy spawns over here in this middle of the circle. They got another wall that you can see through, like on um, what's it called? Com. Free is the call. It was just the, the trials map. Multiplex, multiplex. So you got the visible walls, multiplex. It has a lot of elevation variations. So you can get the high ground on multiple people. I'm interested to see how this one will play in trials as well. They specifically said they want to see how this one plays in trials, and I'm interested too. It looks beautiful. I'm definitely going to get distracted walking around this map. I'm gonna have to hop in a private match when these come out so I can look around. Because golly, they look amazing. They did say they had some other people in the community come out and try these maps early. They gave a lot of great feedback. Bungie, if you're looking for some more feedback, hit me up. Overall, these maps look amazing, and I cannot wait. They did also say. That while we're gonna, I'm gonna get some more miscellaneous as you guys continue to see some more gameplay of the map. Um, there are there is gonna be a title related to this event, so it's gonna be called the Brave Title is what you'll get, and more of it's come. Now for the last, well, the second to last big thing coming, big game mode. We're finally getting a new PV game mode. If you guys watched the twelve that I posted the other day, that they were teasing a new game mode called Pantheon, and I said it would be amazing if it was a boss rush. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Underworld crew, lovelies, it's a boss rush. It's a boss raid boss gauntlet where you'll be able to get your old emblems. Like I said, it's called Pantheon. They said it'll be coming out April 30th. In the TWAB, there'll be more information coming in the TWAB this Thursday. So I'll be mosting, uh, posting the TWAB video on Friday like I normally do. If you guys want a shorter version, the TWAB in 60 seconds goes up on Thursdays. The full reach goes out on Fridays on my channel. Let me know what you guys think about that type of videos. I would show you gameplay of the Pantheon, but they didn't. Literally, the only thing they showed about Pantheon is freaking this picture. This picture right here is the only thing they showed about Pantheon. That's it. So it looks like, like I said, it's a boss rush game mode. We got to fight different raids, different raid bosses. I'm interested to see if it's just going to be just final bosses or like any boss in the game. How the encounters are going to work. Is it going to be like dumbed down encounters? Is it going to be the full scale encounter? They said it's going to be like a raid. Like you see from the picture they showed, it is a, some type of a raid game mode basically because six players raid based content the emblems from the older events the older raids are going to be available to be gotten from this one as well if you missed out on those i'm interested to see wonder how the if we got to fight the scourge of the past boss 
people are going to be calling it PAC or CAP. It's team cap on these fields. Team cap. And right, moving forward. Another big thing that they said they were going to introduce is a brand new way to infill as a new light player right here. So when you start the game, they're going to have the ability to either explore the Cosmodrome for new players into a new uh, for players new to games like Destiny 2. Continue learning the ropes at the Cosmodrome and help Shaha on his quest to defeat the Rahive Wizard Navota. Or join the front lines for experience for players experienced with gamers like Destiny 2. Fly to the tower to gear up and join your ally guardians, your fellow guardians in the fight against humanity's foes. This skip is irreversible but available anytime. So they explained it. If you have never played Destiny or any not even just any game like Destiny, if you have never played Destiny, because Destiny is not like any other game outside of being a looter here. Play play the beginning. But if they said if you have a friend. That's basically pretty good at the game. And they want to explain it to you. Make that character. Join the front lines. Head to the freaking um, Champions Hall. Grab the Gift of the Thunder Gods. And then we're good to go. Because the Gift of the Thunder Gods said they're going to give you two powerful, powerful uh, levels. That'll get you to around, I believe, 18, 1750, 1800. I can't remember which one was which. Either one of them is really good. This is great to onboard new players who don't got to go through that boring slog of freaking getting through the beginning couple of hours so I can finally go play with my friends. And then the Gifts of the Thunder guys will give you the light level boost with some guns and an exotic that'll be really good. Moving forward, they did say they'll let you choose an, a class item of your choice. Not a class item. A class of your choice. And in each of these kits, the new light kits, choose a new light kit for your guardian. Each bundle contains campaign ready gear, subclass abilities, and exotic armor pieces or armor quests. You can choose between Void, Dawn, Blade, and Stormcrawler. They even recommend you a class. Do not listen to this. Actually, never mind. Yeah, get Dawn Blade. You go Void, because Dawn Blade is not that good. Void or Stormcrawler. Only reason Solar is good because of well. But this is really cool. Um, Really, really cool for people that want to just jump into the game with their friends. They don't got to worry about going through this whole tutorial. You'll skip the tutorial. Granted, you can't go back and do the tutorial later, because they did say that before you. This is irreversible change. But you can always like ask your friend, like I said, because you're playing with him, or B... Look at video, which I'll be will be doing. My new light guide will be going up here soon within the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Anyway, this is an inc inc incredibly good change. They did say also, the member a couple twabs back, they said they're going to be able to finally change what our character faces look like. So if you guys are over there, part of no helmet gang like me, because all my warlocks and hunters on Warlock, Hunter, and Titan, they all look beautiful. But if you're scared, take your helmet off because you made some type of freaking monster in the character creation because you were a teen at that time, you can finally change it up. And they also said if you made another horrendous name, if your name was Guardian 6233455733332, because you had some stupid name before they changed the names or you never changed your name, they are giving out a new name token. And if you have not used your first name token, you now have two cha name change tokens. That's really good. Ugh. And... Uh, the final piece is starting at April 9th, 30 minutes before Into the Light launches, we are getting a final shape gameplay stream. So this is really good. I'm interested to see what they're going to be doing. I will be streaming again and making another video over Wednesday on it. I will be live. Let me know what you guys think they're going to be talking about in the comments below. Do you guys think we're finally going to be getting that red subclass that got leaked so long ago on top of the three supers? I don't know. I don't think so, but it would be peak. And imagine, like, but game devs, they, the game got delayed. So maybe they have been keeping this under wraps for high, for ha hype sake, but I feel like if they were going to launch a new set last, they would have showed that originally. Who knows? The one thing that did say there is going to be a new emblem that comes with this final shape stream. This is the emblem. If you watch 15 minutes of the stream, you'll be able to get it. This looks really, really nice. It's that space tiger from, uh, the, the brave symbol looks really cool. I like this emblem a lot. You guys know I love black, so that's me. Another thing that they announced that if you did not get your emblem from these past three streams, you will be able to continue the progress of it on this stream. So make sure you make it. And honestly, that's about it. Overall, this is a short and sweet. I'm so glad they added it. But I'm excited. I'm excited to play this game. I cannot wait to play the final shape. I cannot wait to play Into the Light. They're both going to be amazing expansions. I hope Bungie understands what is at stake here. We all know as consistent Destiny players that whenever Bungie is back into a corner, they make great stuff. Forsaken, Wish Queen, Taken King, all these great, all these great expansions. So we just got to hope this is another one.
let me know what you guys think about the stream in the comments below have you been extremely excited about the interlight event since the thing has been coming or you're still a little bit on the fence let me know in the comments below hope you have a good one and remember stay spooky peace